Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube physics experiment. My name is Nick Bogart. Today we are going to take a piezo buzzer purchased from Radio Shack for about $2.75 and we are going to use it to make a pickup for this acoustic guitar. Alright, so we need of course the piezo buzzer. We need a quarter inch jack so that we could actually plug into the buzzer. We need a piece of audio cable some wire strippers, a piece of solder, a soldering gun, and some more soldering just in case. Alright, so the first step that we've done is we've taken the cable and I have sliced a little bit off of each end with the wire strippers and separated out the three sides, the hot, the cold, and the ground. And you can see the piece that I've taken off right here. Now, uh, I've already taken the time to put the soldering on the tip so we don't have to waste the time there. And I'm going to put the soldering on the tips of this side. Okay, now our cable has solder on the ends. So now we're going to get our piezo buzzer element ready. I've already somewhat taken the time to do that. The buzzer is going to come intact like this. And what you want to do is you want to pop the back side off like this, being careful not to actually damage the piezo element, which is this right here. And you can see the brass. And then you've got this other little metal side with these soldering points right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cable and we're going to install it to the piezo element. Now just a brief little intuitive about how the piezo element is actually working. A piezo element is made from two conductors separated by a layer of piezo crystals. When voltage is applied across the crystal layer, the crystal layers pull on one side and they push on the other, much how a speaker uses compression and rarefaction. This in turn bends the metal conductor layers, varying on which way the magnetism is pulling. When an audio signal is applied, the conductors are pushed and pulled very quickly, creating sound waves. Now the best part about the piezo element is that it also works in reverse. If sound waves push and pull on the conductors, an electrical signal is created and can be output to an amplifier or recording device. This is exactly how we're going to use it right now. Okay, now everything has been soldered together. We got our two ends ready to go. We're going to get our piezo element, and once we attach it inside of the body of the guitar, the guitar body is vibrating, Those, that sound will be generated into an electrical signal by the piezo element, and we could send that electrical signal through our quarter inch adapter and our guitar cable into our M-Box, into our computer. Everything put together, we've got our cable in, and we've got sound. I have loosened the strings. I put the piezo pickup right on the underneath side, under this bridge right here, because this is where it's gonna get the most resonation, the most vibration from the actual guitar. So it's taped right on the back side of this. And then I've got the cable going over here to the end box, going into the computer. Once we turn up the guitar volume, should be able to play the guitar and have volume. 